Now let's say you have somebody who is setting instead of, let's say the, the athlete is set, set, uh, setting at 96%. The person is very out of breath. Their heart rate is at 140. Let's just make the math easy, 140. Then you have the person whose oxygen is at 80, 85, 80, 83, whatever. And the person is out of breath not because of the oxygen, but because of the heart rate. So this person's heart rate, this other person, not the athlete, this other person is setting at 83% with a heart rate of 140. Which people are legitimately out of breath? Both. Why is the athlete out of breath when the oxygen is good? Because oxygen doesn't, is not a governing, it doesn't govern out of breath. So when CO2 climbs, like it's like a pain receptor. If I touch something hot, my first instinct is to pull my hand away so I don't keep burning. So I know that, right? Okay, when you're out of breath, okay, your body's telling you, you need to breathe to get rid of more CO2, right? You need to breathe. You need to get rid of, of course you need oxygen, but oxygen isn't the reason why you get out of breath. So both people, both have high CO2. The person with the, that is setting at 83% while the person is at 96%. The, but remember the oxygen isn't the reason people get out of breath. So let's take that out of way and look at the heart rate. That's how you can determine how out of breath somebody is objectively. Um, I mean, you can determine subjectively by yourself, you know, but you look at the heart rate. A good way to, deter to determine how high your CO2 is right now, everybody, is just look at your heart rate. If your heart rate's high, your CO2 is high. If it's normal, if it's within good range, what's a good range of heart rate? 60 to 100, okay? Anything higher than 100, 100 or higher is tachycardic, you know? So the higher your CO2 is, the higher your heart rate will be, okay? It's not rocket science. It's just, you know, that's just what triggers the out of breath feeling. You know, I'm feeling out of breath. It's because I'm out of shape. It might, that might be a reason why I'm out of breath so quickly is because I'm out of shape. But a lot of people are out of shape, you know? It doesn't mean anything. It just means you just gotta develop more tolerance to an exercise. You know, you get somebody who, has, who needs pulmonary rehab, you don't just jump them onto a treadmill or a bike or something. You gotta work their lungs out so they can pull in more oxygen, get rid of more CO2. So when they perform on a bike, when they perform on a treadmill, they won't, they'll feel like, oh my goodness, I can do it now. Because you're fixing the pulmonary problems.